Let's talk about percent. So first of all, the word means for every hundred because per means for every and cent means hundred. So for example, five per student means every student gets five. And cent, for example, like century is a hundred years, or you could also think about it as a hundred cents in a dollar. Okay, so when we talk about percents, we talk a lot about how fractions, decimals, and percents are all related together. And so, for example, if you start with the fraction two fifths, there are a couple different ways to change it into a decimal and a percent. So first of all, for example, um, you could do division. So two divided by five. And because that doesn't go in um, evenly, then you'd have to add the decimal and a zero and then do the division from there. You could also use what you, um, the most common fraction and decimal values. So I've written here the most common ones that if you don't have memorized already, I highly encourage you to memorize them because they do come up so often. Okay, so for example, one fifth is very similar to two fifths. It's just that two fifths is double that. So because one fifth is 0 0.20, then double that would be 0 0.40. And another way you could change this into a decimal is by um, making it out of 100. So how do you get 2 fifths into something over 100? You could think about, okay, well, 5 times 20 gives us 100. And you have to do the same thing on top and on bottom of the fraction. So 2 times 20 gives us 40. So that's how we get um, 2 fifths is 0 0.40 or 40 over 100. And that really brings us back to the percents because percent means for every hundred. That means that two fifths is 40 for every hundred. So that'd be 40%, okay? And in general, um, we go from decimals to percents and percents to decimals very often because it's such a simple process. For a decimal to percent, you would just move the decimal to the right two times and that gives us 40%. So for example, if you have 0.86 to, move, to make it into a percent, you move the decimal to the right two times and that gives us 86%. If you start off with a percent and you wanna to change to decimal, we do the same thing, but backwards. So instead of moving the decimal to the right two times, we move the decimal to the left two times. So 37% would be one, two, 0 0.37. And if you want to change it into a fraction, we would put it out of 100 because it means for every 100. So 37 over 100 and then simplify if possible. But this one is not simplifiable. So then let's look at, for example, 86 out of 100 is simplifiable because the numerator and denominator are both even. So they're both divisible by 2. So we divide top and bottom by 2 and that gives us 43 out of 50.